Stinky Situation, directed by Stephen Moverly, written by Walt Gardner. <laughs> I was zooming past Mars in the solar system derby, right behind Pizza, the fastest racer in the galaxy. to get away. I won a big green trophy made of moon rocks, but it was really heavy, so I left it in my star cruiser. Delicious! What you eating, Dad? Mm, I'm tasting all the different cheeses that Mr. Bancroft in room 238 brought me from the dairy show at the county fair. The county fair? It's where farmers go to show off all the yummy foods they've made out of milk. They have everything there. Cheese, yogurt, ice cream. And magical shrinking potions? Mm-hmm. Mmm, especially this tasty aged Gouda. Uh, try some. I was about to try some of my dad's new cheese when suddenly... In walked the biggest cockatoo in the world! Actually, it was just Mrs. Steele from room 138. Oh, good gracious heavens! Is something wrong, Mrs. Steele? I should say so! There's an absolutely awful smell in my room! Don't worry, Mrs. Steele. We'll get to the bottom of this. Ellen, why don't you go play outside and get some fresh air? Fresh air! That's exactly what I needed. I was high in the sky in my hot air balloon, rising up and up and up. We stopped 
rising. Time to drop some weight. Now I'm even higher than a shooting star. And I'm still going up, up, up in the sky. Actually, I was in my own backyard, but I had climbed to the tippy top of my slide. Whoops! Oh, be careful, Alan. You'll get your clothes dirty. Mom, you missed it. I was flying in my balloon. Really? Where were you flying? Up! I flew over a giraffe and a tree and some geese and a cloud that looked like Connie. Wasn't it scary to fly that high? Not for a famous pilot like me. I flew so high that all the people on the ground looked as small as ants. Well, if the people were that small, how big were the ants? They were way too small for me to see. I could barely even see the ground. It must have been cold up there. Did you remember to bring your flight suit? Of course. I never fly without it. With an attitude like that, I'm sure you'll be captain of the entire balloon fleet in no time. Woohoo! Yippee! Heavens! The smell! Oh no! Mrs. Steele, where on earth is that horrible smell coming from? Sounds like a mystery to me. It was a cloudy day in Humongousburg. That no good gangster Stinky McGee was up to something. And it was up to me to find him. Peanut shells. Peanuts are Stinky's favorite food. Maybe this trail will lead me to his hideout. <laughs> hey, you're not Stinky Mickey. You're a squirrel! But where did a squirrel find a whole bag of peanuts? Come on, I'll give you a raisin if you tell me. Secret hideout. All I had to do was open the door. <laughs> Actually, I was getting pretty hungry, so I went into the kitchen to find a snack. Where is that smell coming from? I know it's somewhere around here. It must be coming from the fridge. Dad, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? Sure, honey. Here, try some of this delicious sardine-flavored goat yogurt from the dairy show. Hey, where did it go? That's okay, Dad. I'll just get some peanut butter from the cupboard. Ugh! Stinky! The smell must be coming from the cupboard. Hey, this isn't peanut butter. Of course, it's the sardine flavored goat yogurt. Whatever it is, it sure does stink. I'll say. I must have left it in the cupboard by mistake. Time to put it where stinky things belong. I'll go tell Mrs. Steele we found the problem. Good idea. And I'll go take out the trash to get rid of the smell for good. What a day! I had outraged Zeepsop, ballooned way up high in the sky, and tracked down Stinky McGee and his gang. By now I was getting pretty hungry, so I headed down to Papa Ugolino's for the best pizza in all of Humongousburg. 
Actually... Mom used Dad's cheese to bake a big cheesy lasagna for dinner. And it smelled delicious. And we never have to deal with the yucky smells again. Actually... Excuse me. Actually, we did. 